In this session, let us learn about operators. Operators are special symbols which represent computation. They are applied on operands which can be either values or variables. The same operators may behave differently when used on different types of data. Operators, when applied on operands, make an expression. Operators in Python can be categorized as arithmetic operators, relational operators, logical operators, and assignment operators. We will be learning how to use arithmetic, relational, and assignment operators in this session. Arithmetic operators. We know the operator plus is used to denote addition, minus is used to denote subtraction, asterisk is used to denote multiplication, slash is used to denote division. The percentage operator is used to give the remainder of division operation and two asterisks will give the exponentiation or to the power. Let us understand this better with the help of an example. In this code, I am going to take the input from the user and store it in variable A. Similarly, I am going to take another input which is a number and store it in the variable B. I have already typed a few lines of statement here. As you can see, print addition of two numbers is a plus b. The difference of two numbers as a minus b, product of two numbers as a asterisk b, division of two numbers is a slash b and the remainder after division is a percentage b. The exponentiation or the power is a asterisk asterisk b. Now let us run this program. I am taking the first number as say 6. It is now going to ask me for the second number. Let me give this as 2. Now it is going to display the answer. The addition of two numbers 6 plus 2 is going to give me 8. The difference of two numbers 6 and 2 is going to give me 4. That is 6 minus 2. When I multiply 6 and 2, it is going to give me 12. And when I divide 6 by 2, it is going to give me 3. There is no remainder in this case. So it is giving me the remainder after division as 0. And 6 raised to the power of 2 is nothing but 6 multiplied by 6, which is 36. Next, let us learn relational operators. A relational operator will always return the answer as true or false. In arithmetic operators, we were getting the number as output. Here, it is going to give us the answer as true or false. We will be using these operators that is the symbols less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, this is equal to and this is not equal to. So let us use this in a program to see how this is going to work. I am going to Take the input from the user and store it in two variables, A and B. Now I can print all the operators using these two variables in the form of an expression and then check what it is going to return. Now this is one way of directly checking but as I said we are going to go for a better output. So we give the first argument as first number less than second number is comma a less than b. The second print function first number less than or equal to second number comma a less than or equal to b. Now this way I have typed it for the remaining operators also. Now let me run this piece of program. 
it is asking us for the first number. I am going to take the first number as 89. I am going to take the second number as 93. Now you can see the output 89 is less than 93 which is true. Now the second one less than or equal to. It is less than but it is not equal to. Because the first condition less than is true, it is going to return the value true. Greater than the second number, 89 is definitely not greater than 93. So it is returning false. And 89 is neither greater than nor equal to. So both conditions are false here. And that is why we are getting the answer as false. The next one, 89 equal to 93 is definitely false. 89 not equal to 93 is true. So this way we can write a program to check all the relational operators. Now relational operators are also called as comparison operators because we are taking numbers and comparing them with each other. Now the next operator that we are going to go through at a glance is the logical operator. The logical operators are AND, OR and NOT. These operators will return true in case of AND only when both the conditions are true. In case of OR, if any condition is true, then it is going to return true. In case of not, when it is not false, it is going to return true. We will be making use of AND operator and OR operator when we are learning about IF statement. There we will be checking multiple conditions and we will be using AND and OR operator. The next operator that we are learning is the assignment operator. The assignment operators in Python are used to assign values to variables. We know the basic assignment which is a variable name is equal to value. Now there are many places where we will be updating the same variable with different values. Suppose if I want to add a variable with a number, then I have to give the statement as the variable name is equal to the variable name plus the value. A simpler way would be to make use of plus is equal to. Now in this case, I am taking the example of x plus is equal to 5 which can be interpreted as x is equal to x plus 5. The same way I can combine it with subtraction, multiplication and division. I am taking 1 for the value x. First I am using the addition assignment x plus is equal to 5. Then I am using the subtraction x minus is equal to 5. And then the multiplication x star is equal to 5 or x asterisk is equal to 5. And finally division x slash is equal to 5. For giving a better understanding of the output, I am putting the first argument with what operation I am doing followed by the second argument which is the value of x. Now let's run this program to check. The result, see, x had the value 1, x plus 5 will be giving 1 plus 5 which is 6. Now the last value of x is 6. So when I subtract 5, 6 minus 5 will give me 1. Now 1 when multiplied with 5 will give me the answer 5. And 5 when divided by 5 will give me the answer one. This way we can make use of assignment operators in Python. I hope you have understood this. 
Please do like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.